Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna to attempt to take a manual pulse oximeter reading using my Garmin Instinct crossover watch. I'm using the solar version. Shouldn't matter whether you've got the solar or the non-solar. This is a feature that's available on both of them. The pulse oximeter is basically gonna read your blood oxygen level. It's gonna use the sensor on the back of the watch and it's gonna shine a light into your skin. And it's gonna check how much light's absorbed and that'll come back with a reading for you. When we do this reading, you should be somewhere between 95 and 100%. I'm not gonna go into the settings for the pulse oximeter. You basically have three different settings, all day, during sleep, and manual. All day and during sleep is great. If you've got health issues, maybe you've had COVID-19, you're needing to check your blood oxygen level on a regular basis, it's perfectly fine. If you're somebody that doesn't have health issues and you're interested in battery life, I would recommend cutting the pulse oximeter setting to just manual, and then the only time you wanna to check to see your pulse oximeter, you go do it yourself, just like we're here doing this video. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. I've already added the Pulse OX glance. I can use the up or down button on the left-hand side to go into my glance listing, and you'll notice that the top one I have here says Pulse OX. It shows no data because I haven't taken a pulse oximeter reading for the given day. I'm gonna press the GPS button, it will take me into the pulse oximeter, and then all I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna sit still, it will start reading my blood oxygen level. Should take about 30 seconds, hopefully we'll get a valid reading so you can see what it looks like. Again, at the bottom you can see in the last 24 hours, there's no readings. Now, had I had the Pulse OX on for all day long, we would see readings in here without having to take a manual measurement. And you can see mine came back 94%, which is a little bit low. Um, again, ideally you wanna be 95 to 100%. But that's what it looks like when you take your reading. If I wanted to, I could press the GPS button and I could take another reading. This is where I mentioned you could get to the settings. There's a few different ways to get to the settings, but I could go to my settings and I can change how often is it doing it. Manual check, during sleep, or all day. I'm gonna go ahead and press back. I won't take another reading. I did want to show you though, now when we go to the glance, we can see a snapshot of what my reading has been for the given day or what my most recent reading has been. As always, when you're done with your glance, you can simply press the back button and we've successfully taken a manual SpO2 uh, level check with our pulse oximeter on the Garmin Instinct crossover watch. As always, I hope the video helps.